Hey guys, it's Steve here with a little demonstration of my new nature asset pack for Blender. This is 17 low poly nature assets that can be used in your scenes to add detail or to be a scene on its own. And uh, this can all be used commercially because all these textures were shot by myself and all the models were made by myself. If you're curious on how to make your own textures, well, I made a tutorial just for that, so you can check that out on my channel. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into what these textures and assets are made of. So um, I'll just show you this rock real quick. I have all these models set up with their own node group to make it super easy to change settings on the fly, like bump, for example. You can crank the bump real high, or you can turn it down if it's too much for your liking. You can change the moss intensity, or you can take it off completely. You can do things like change the glossiness, change the wetness, and even change the pointiness, which is a really cool feature. Uh, and you can also even change the color. So I have on every one of these assets a random color option, and this is for giving the rocks random color. Every time they're duplicated, you'll have random color, and that will, uh, let me just undo that real quick. That will give you variation in your scene so the rocks don't look identical. So uh, that's the rock. Let's grab a blade of grass here. And you can see we have some subsurface scattering options. Glossy, wetness, random, and uh, etc. So the random is on every one of these models to add variation to them. If you duplicate them or use them in a particle system, there will be some randomness between them. So nothing looks repetitive. Here's a quick demonstration of what these assets look like in action. These are uh, two different scenes here that I created with only these nature assets. Okay, so here's a quick how to use these in your scene or make a scene, I guess, entirely with them. I'm just gonna create a new blank blender file right here. And I'm just gonna delete everything in the scene. And I'll switch to cycles render. And uh, I'm gonna add in a plane. All right, so this is just our floor. Let's scale it up a little bit and say, all right, I want to add some nature to this scene. So what you would do is you go File, Append. You would locate your Low Poly Nature Asset Pack. You click on the Blend, and then you see the option for Group here. You go there, and you have your groups. Now, I have all of the assets divided into their own groups in case you wanted to just use flowers or just use grass, etc. And then I have the low poly nature asset pack if you want everything. So you just grab that low poly nature asset pack and append from library. And you'll see if I move this plane down a little bit here, that all of our nature assets have been brought right in to Blender. And uh, they're all here ready to use. And they're all part of a group already. And they're already rotated as well. So they'll work perfect in a particle system. So let's, uh, let's move our plane to a different layer or the assets. It doesn't matter. And jump to that layer now. Let's quick add in a sunlight, just so we have some lighting on our scene. All right, and let's add in a little bit of environment lighting as well. Just use a basic sky texture. And uh, to go to our particle settings. Let's give ourselves a little more room here. And go new particle settings. We'll choose hair. We'll go advanced. We'll scroll down and grab group. And you'll see in the groups here, the low poly nature asset pack. You just open that up right there, click rotation, and they'll all be standing up nice and properly. You can take the scale up a little bit, the random size up a bit, give it a little bit of random force with the Brownian motion, and choose rotation. And then we can give them some random rotation and such, spin them up a little bit. And that looks good. All right. And let's turn off the emitter so it doesn't render the ground. And let's see what this looks like. Right off the bat, just a minute of work. And what do we have? Well, we have a bunch of realistic nature assets spread across our plane. So it's as simple as that to use them. All you have to do is create a group. And uh, I often use a vertex group to decide which areas I want to place them. But uh, that's it, guys. That is how you use the Low Poly Nature Asset Pack. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration video, and if you want to support myself, CG Geek, and the Blender Institute, you can purchase this pack right now for just 10 bucks on the Blender Market. So uh, that would be really helpful, and you'd be awesome if you did that, but you don't have to. It's totally optional, and there's a tutorial on creating some of these assets yourself on my channel if you want to check that out instead. 
One thing you also want to do is crank up the number of transparency passes. Crank this to something like 32 and you'll see you won't have those black squares in the background there where there are too many overlaying alpha masks. So um, I hope you guys, uh, yeah, take a look at it and let me know what you think. So that's it and I'll see you later. Bye bye.